So what I'm going to try and show you today is the, how to keep your horse hooked to the cow uh, easier and, and in doing that uh, I'm just I'm going to show you some different angles of, of where non-pros typically ride to uh, because they're afraid of losing the cow a lot of times they ride away plus the cow presents some pressure to the horse where a lot of times the horse wants to get away. So it's important that you understand if your horse is getting away and if he is, how to hold him up to a cow, number one, and then maybe teach, how to teach him to, to stay up to a cow. And if you can do that, then you should be able to increase your, um, your score in the cow boxing class. So what I want to try and demonstrate is the difference between us having an angle up to a cow here, like so, with his head pointed at that cow, versus being on an angle away from the cow and traveling this way away from the cow. Because again, a lot of times uh, non-pros tend to want to get away from a cow and a lot of times a horse wants to get away from a cow because of the pressure and so it's important to know a lot of times they don't even know that they're doing it riding away but you can't control a cow off of, out here uh, and once you're out there then you have to make a move up into the cow to to move the cow and then that that takes a lot of time that takes more time, so they only have 50 seconds to work, and we want to see you, uh, we want to see one working uh, the whole time rather than standing. And so again here, I'm on an angle where this cow, when it moves, it will help turn my horse to the right, okay? And I can, or conversely, uh, a lot of times if we're in this position, then uh, the cow, uh, then the cow has control over you, and and it can run around you. You'll spend more time. You you can't from that position <coughs> keep the cow moving, and that would be our goal in the boxing is to try and keep the cow moving throughout the work. So again, the difference between here and here is a huge one. You see just that little bit of turn um, made that cow move versus, so that's the difference in those angles, just actually one step, turn that cow versus a step away, that cow was going to stand there, but that was just got, came just into that cow's bubble enough that it caused him to move, which is what you want. You want to stay on the edge of the cow's bubble so that you can keep him moving throughout the work but yet you don't uh, you don't scare him and you don't chase him and you don't run him around you. So we're going to demonstrate how I'm going to use my legs to help change the angle and one thing non-pros typically do is don't use their legs enough and, and because they're thinking stop a lot of times they get their feet out here wide at which point they uh, they can't use their feet to control their horse's body so I use my feet kind of like a gas pedal on a car and that if I'm trying to go forward I have my feet here as I'm working cow I have my feet pushed in my horse and that that means for my horse to go so it's kind of like the gas pedal I, I'm on go and I'm traveling with the cow as soon as I see that cow to stop I'm gonna take my feet out but then I'm gonna come right back in. And when I take my feet out, obviously that means stop. And now from here, I'm going to adjust my horse's body to keep the ribs maybe away from the cow just a tick so that he can come through the cow and then here to push my horse through that turn. All right, now, if I need to get away from the cow, I'm gonna use my cow side leg and foot to push away, okay? If I'm traveling and again I need to get back up to the cow or if let's say my horse is just on a bad angle and he's traveling across the pen like this, I'm going to use my legs here and here to
to hold them up into that cow, again, to change my angle. So, um, again, it's a combination of both legs, uh, pushing to go, taking away to stop, holding to, to shape my horse's body if I need to. See, I can use my cow side leg to move that hip out of the way. It was getting in the way too much. I'm using this new cow side leg to travel across the pen with the cow. Stop and turn. So that would be, again, a, a fair simulation of how my feet are working as I uh, as I try and manipulate my horse, all I'm trying to do is shape my horse's body so that it makes it easier for him to stop and turn with the cow. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and show you today is the difference between having an angle up to a cow where you're kind of pointed to a cow or riding to a cow's eye or neck where you can control that cow, or if you are riding away from a cow which again would be here like so, where uh, you don't have the ability to get stopped and turned and your horse doesn't have a hold of the cow and you get too far away from the cow and, and then uh, you don't challenge the cow quite enough to get the degree of difficulty uh, up to have a big scoring run. So I'm gonna work this cow just a little bit here and try and show you the difference, okay, of here staying up into this cow's neck and staying up into this cow's neck here to where, my, again, my horse can easily make the turn with this cow, okay? And I can keep a little pressure on this cow, okay? And here I'm raiding this cow across the pen because that's the speed he's going there. The cow stops. And there the cow goes and we stop and turn the cow. So again, once that cow turns away from you, I got time to stop and let this cow um, kind of chill and, and kind of let my horse regroup versus if the cow turns to you, you got to, you got to just turn with the cow, okay? Uh, and so you see there, that cow challenged me very hard uh, and I had to ride away from the cow, um, but then once I got to the spot where I could stop that cow, I rode back up into it, okay? And here he goes again, and I gotta move over there pretty aggressively to stop this cow, all right? Now, I'm gonna try and demonstrate a little bit what happens if you ride away. And here I'm driving this cow across the pen, if I end up riding away from a cow because I think this cow's gonna get by me, right now, my horse loses contact and maybe you can't even see from the GoPro. <coughs> okay, and again here, see my horse riding away from the cow? My horse is leaving the cow. So I put him back up there and that again is what is what typically happens um, with a with a cow horse, boxing horse, whatever it is. And so we want to teach them how to hold their line, okay? And again, my horse is getting away just a little too far. So I'm giving that cow too much air, all right? And my horse is not on a good angle to turn with this cow, okay? About all I can do is stop with it. So. Uh, I'm gonna go back and change my angle back up into the cow. And again here, I'm gonna come back to the hip of the cow and I'm gonna ride back up into the eye or the neck of the cow. And this has changed my angle so that I can turn with the cow easily, okay? Had I been riding away from the cow when it challenged me those two times pretty hard, like right here, see I'm behind, now I lose the cow. I come here and I ride back up into that cow's eye and I can turn that cow away from me and uh, probably in that case it's gonna be a loss, but, uh, I, but I can kind of save a lot of times if you're up there on that end. 
uh, you can save yourself from a loss because you have controlled the cow. You've turned him away. You've made him go back to the end to which he uh, came in from versus letting the cow go on by and, um, and losing the cow and, and getting a three point penalty and a lot of times a loss of work and advantage on top of that uh, and lower run, tents, uh, run content score because, uh, because again, you let the cow control you versus you controlling the cow.